Hey guys, it's Dragon Airbender back here with another How to Canon episode 2. It's Sand Comps. So in this episode, I'm just going to talk about exactly how they work and what they actually do for a cannon and the different designs you can use. I'm not going to show you like every single type. I'm just going to show you some general cannons or sand comps. So basically how they work is you take piston. So let's say you have your compression. You need a sand comp right here that goes into this cannon. I don't know, really. Just set this up real quick. This is not gonna be very complicated. It's gonna be a real simple design. Let me just get my inventory set up. Oh. Oh. Let's wire this up. So this would be your um, propulsion for everything that goes out of the cannon. Okay, I'm just gonna wire this side up. I'm gonna take. Sure. Okay, that's close enough. And you wanted to, to get some sand in here. Because it's really hard to actually get, like, a lot of sand coming in at once when you're doing it like this method. Like, just pushing it straight into the cannon. Those are for like, maybe like 40 stackers, some, maybe some 60. But if you want to get loads of sand, you'll need a actual sand comp. So what you would do is you'd shoot a bunch of sand into this barrel right here. And then in this, the propulsion would push it out and, you know, get the hammer and stack it right down. So, let's wire this up again. Get that out. There we go. Put that there. It's gonna be really ugly, but whatever. So, instead of having the two pushing right into the barrel you can have like multiple like one two three four five six and remember that tnt only affects block or entities seven blocks away so it can only be this wide unless you actually build one that are like pushes it from here to over here and then back out which i'll do that in another tutorial but this is just going to be the real basic ones. Okay, four, five, six. One. It's actually... So it has to be exactly 10 repeaters, or actually 39 ticks, redstone ticks before like for the piston to push out so the scene's actually in this part to get fired so, this set up there's a few different ways you can get it to actually have all the fan sand fall down but I'm just gonna use world edit cuz I don't want to mess with that right now so, right, this one. GT20, GT20. Fill that also. Okay, everything filled. Set sand. 
So you see all that sand's falling. I'll actually turn it to glass so you can see right there. There. There we go. Okay, we'll just take the button. Fire it. So the TNT is going off. And this will just push out like that. No. It does have to be up a little bit more. Here, okay, let's try that again. Yep, see there? Then it's all right over here. You get all that sand, just like that. But then you wanna have to have this go off like, depending on how far it is, two ticks about, two or three, this to go off. So it has enough time to actually push all the sand into here before this, this part goes off. So if I'll just push this out. Oh, whatever. Oh, dang it. There we go, so how many? Let's wrap this around. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm getting rid of that. So that's four ticks to ignite that part. And we got four over here, so it needs to be two ticks. So we'll just add one. Two. This should work. Add some sand. Okay. Come over here with this. So let's say this is the wall. Sand. Bam, ignite that. Alright, so here's the few of the designs. We got this. This is used for like 100 to 120s, maybe. 120, maybe. It's pretty simple. I don't really like having them come from the side. Not anymore. Unless they're reusable cobweb. I usually have them like this, have the little sand plate. So I'll fire this. So as you see, decompress it all. Not into a single block, that's why I don't really like these. You need a lot of power to actually compress it. But this, this is probably the one I use most. It goes on most of my cannons. So this actually, how it works is, do it right here. So let's say we had this, you get a button, you get, get some cobwebs, sand, and we had some sand right here. Did you see? Pushes up, breaks them. But if we had sand in, you do. It doesn't really work with a button. That's why we have this quick pulse to actually push it up really quickly. So if we just do this, bam, bam, yeah. See, it goes off real quick, and it actually gives the sand air time. As you see, you see little bit of air time right there which actually gives it a like a single tick where you can actually shoot it out of the cannon or the sand plate so it's actually in air and the boosters back here will push it you know be in air i guess and they'll stack and then you can just shoot it right in the cannon this this is for 240s because as you see, this one's kind of tall.
because it does have to be stacked up 20 high. So we got this. It's actually a four wide. So as you see, it's a four by six. Four by six right there. And the only downside to this is it does have to have an underground kind of thing. But it works essentially the same as the other one. It's just a little bit less high. It does use double piston extenders to hold all the sand open. As you see right there. So if we go ahead and fire this. I'll actually show you from inside the cannon. Oh, yeah. Works perfect. Bam. One thing you do need to know is that these actually go off 41 ticks, I think. Well, let me check. That's one. Get 10. So that's. Yep. Yeah, it goes off 41 ticks. Or is it 40? I think it's 41. Yeah, I'm not really sure why and how that works, but it does, so. The next how to cannon will be left shooters, and that'll be next Sunday, so if you wait, make sure you subscribe so you get alerts when I post new videos.